I would like to thank uh, Bob's Up the Creek Outfitters for sponsoring this video. Um, if you all have not checked them out yet, they have a store in Amherst and one in Manita, and they're actually a dealer for uh, Crescent Kayaks, um, Feel Free, Old Town, Vibe, um, and I would I would suggest checking them out if you're in the you're in the the market for another kayak. Um, they also have Three Waters, um, it's a popular brand now. But we're actually going to be installing the Bixby Universal Canoe and Kayak um, adapter on this particular kayak. Um, you know, there there's other mounts out there. We could have used a uh, the smaller Gudgeon mount with the universal rudder adapter that Bixby has but you know the the universal rudder adapter pretty much fits on all kinds of kayaks so I wanted to switch it up and try something different um, and, and I think that the universal um, kayak and canoe mount is probably going to be a good option for this boat uh, so stay tuned and we'll get to the install and like I said before um, this is the Crescent Ultralight that Bob's Up the Creek Outfitters um, graciously, uh, you know, donated for this video. Um, of course, one thing I forgot to mention is they're also a bona fide dealer, and that's actually where I got my bona fide SS107. And I'll be doing another video um, shortly with the Innovative Sportsman's No Drill Mount and the um, Easy Mount from Bixby. So that'll, that'll be another video coming down the line. All right, now as you can see here, um, I'm not going to go directly um, behind the kayak itself. I could have drilled directly into here using that gudgeon mount, but I'm actually going to go off to the side so that I can use one of the pre-existing rails that is on the ultralight. That way I can easily mount the ram ball, and then I won't really have to drill you know, too many other holes uh, within this kayak. So I'm going to kind of position this upright, uh, you know, roughly where I want it. And then I'm going to install the ram ball mount right here. So I'll go ahead and return once I get that ball mounted. All right, I actually had to drill out some of the holes on this uh, ram mount here. Um, I'm actually using the uh, just some leftover T-bolts that I had. And I found some lock washers that I just had lying around. And... You know, just some nuts that fit it. And, of course, I don't know the exact size, uh, but this is a 10-millimeter socket here, and uh, it fits right over top of that. So I'm just going to tighten it down, uh, tighten both of them down. And I actually had to reposition where I drilled my holes since um, this sits so low on the ball mount, the screw is actually getting in the way. So... What I did here was just repositioned where I put, uh, or where I drilled out the holes, um, you know, just to be on one side so that after I put the lock washers and the nuts back on, it's not going to be in line with the mounting pole there. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that back up, and then we're going to look uh, where we're actually going to position the uh, next piece to hold the uh, adapter in place. You know, I thought about this for a little while. Um, I could actually use this piece that came with the unit, um, but if you look here, there's already a pad eye that kind of sits in a perfect spot where I would need to, you know, actually mount that up. So I'm not even going to use that for this install, um, and we're going to actually try and make this a no drill install for anyone that would like to. So I'm going to zip tie this on here. For right now, I'm just going to use um, these thin zip ties. But, you know, once I go to actually, you know, test it out and make it like a permanent solution, um, I'll probably use, you know, heavier gauge uh, zip ties. But for right now, that, that actually looks like it's probably going to work out perfectly. Um, I'll let you know down the road. You know how well it does. Of course, I still needed to um, still need to tighten the ball mount, but I'm going to make sure I've got everything lined up where I want it before I actually do that. Now that I've tightened um, 
this mount over that ball mount and then zip tied. I actually added another set of zip ties. I mean, you can see that the whole kayak itself is moving and this thing, the mount's not going anywhere. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, position this in the mount, which is that this is actually where the uh, you know motor is going to mount to. Um, and then let's see. Go ahead and screw these in here. And this is just, just so that it'll hold it in place. And Bixby actually provides the you know Allen keys and everything that you need to tighten all this up, so that's good. Let's see, put that in and we'll go ahead and tighten it up, and then we'll work on getting the rest of this done. All right, you can see already kind of where the motor is going to be positioned right here. Um, these little collars here actually allow you to, you know, move it up and down. And I'll probably, see, I think uh, Bixby says that, you know, it's best at about three inches below the, you know, water line. So that's probably where I'm going to try it. Um, I'll have to put this in the water again and see, but I may move these collars up some so that it, the, the motor sits, I don't know, maybe about an inch or two up uh, further than what it is. Um, I'm actually going to use the hand controls with this, so I'll demonstrate um, that. But, I mean, as far as this goes, I mean, we pretty much have everything installed that we really need installed for this to work. Um, of course... You know, once we put it on the water, we'll have the power pack in the tank well here. I need to put the um, pull cable up here to position the, uh, you know, to pull it in and out of the water, depending on, you know, how shallow I'm getting. And you can probably see right here, I'll zoom in some so you can kind of see that, but... Um, they allow for many different positions to actually mount this. If you can see here, um, the motor sits kind of, you know, in some. So we can position these right here and kind of, you know, figure out a, a sweet spot for this. And I'm going to do that, um, you know, after we get on the water and try and figure it out and, you know, see how it works and, you know, see if it's, it's at a good position for us. But... Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this. Like I said, I'll probably position this up uh, about an inch or two, um, you know, just to just to try it out and see. And then, of course, once it's out of the water, um, I don't want it to still drag any. So if I push it up some more, then it'll, it'll help with that. Um, but let's move on to the rudder cable um, install. We're going to use the hand controls that Bixby um, also sells on their website. And... Um, We'll go from there. All right, looking at the hand control here, uh, there's actually several screws or screw holes um, that you know we'll we'll have to drill into the kayak here. I, I mean, we could also tape it, Velcro it, several other things, but I'm actually going to uh, try and use rivets here and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm just going to use the screws that uh, came with it. Um, this is, I guess right now, the only place that we've had to drill anything into this kayak. Um, like I said, so if you're you're installing this at home, you may or may not want to, um, you know, drill holes into your kayak. Um, but in this case, um, you know, even if I'm not using the hand controls or the motor itself, I mean, this easily just pops on and off you know you just push it under there and then you know it come it comes on and off so we'll, we'll go ahead and try it with uh, the rivets or screws and um, you know go from there but I think this particular position is going to be good for you know it's it's out of the way of the handle 
Um, if I put it too far forward, um, you really, it's probably not going to be enjoyable. Um, but as you're sitting in the seat right here, this is probably the, the best position for this to be. So I'm going to map this out some, kind of figure out if that's, you know, the exact location, which, I mean, I'm sure right now that's what I'm going to do. And then uh, Bixby also provides tubing to go through the hull of the kayak. And I'm actually not going to do that with this. I'm just going to kind of go through these uh, Yak Attack eyelets um, and just kind of feed feed those back to the mounting points on the motor itself or on the uh, adapter back there. And then, you know, that way we're, we're just kind of utilizing what we already have. All right, I tried, or actually I looked at trying out the rivets and um, the rivets that I have weren't going to be long enough. So I'm going to start by just drilling some holes here. I'm actually going to drill one hole um, as kind of like the pilot hole. And then I'm going to go off of that hole. I'm going to go ahead and screw one screw in there. And then, you know, after that one is secure, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, start drilling the rest of them out. That way I don't get done, you know, drilling all four holes and then when I go to screw everything in, they're just not matched up. So I'm going to do that with the four holes here. And then, um, of course, these are the screws that actually came with this particular um, hand control. There's lock nuts. If you can get access to the back side of the hole or underneath here, you know, you could use some of those. Um, but... Of course, if you don't have that or can't access it, you'll either just use, and actually this isn't the best screw to use, um, probably need like a um, more of a, a self-tapping screw, but I'll use this for now and I'll, I'll see if I can find some self-tapping screws later on. All right, now that we got the base plate mounted, um, I actually ran the rudder cables back through this eyelet right here and tied them back onto the um, adapter back there. And actually, this is the turning radius on this thing is actually really good. It's really responsive. Um, and I like the fact that the handle here, it actually you can hear it click um so of course if you're you know you're wanting to go straight you can adjust it and keep it there and you don't have to worry about you know the rudder turning on you or anything like that and of course that's i mean that's that's pretty much it that's the install um i will clean up a lot of this cable um you know just go ahead and cut this off and, and tie it off a little better just you know clip these and of course, I'm going to move the uh, these collars down a little bit to move the motor up some. But other than that, this thing is ready to go. And I'm actually really excited about this um, because it is so universal. And of course, the only thing we had to drill was the uh, mount for this handle here. And really, if you didn't want to do that, I'm sure there's other ways. Um, I think some of that industrial strength. Uh, Velcro or outdoor weather, you know, weather rated Velcro would work perfectly fine. But I can't wait to get this thing on the water and actually see how it performs, especially since this is so responsive. Um, and this is such a light boat. I mean, it's, like I said, it's fast in the water, just paddling. So I'm sure that it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to do really well, um, you know, with the motor on there. So, um, the next time you see this particular kayak, it'll be on the water. 
and we'll see how fast we can get this thing up to. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope you all go you know, go check out Bob's Up the Creek Outfitters. Um, I'll leave a link in the description there. And if you have any questions about this kayak um, or anything Bixby related, uh, just leave a comment. I also have other links to these adapters here where you can buy the motor um, and, and everything related to that. So like I said, if you all have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to them. All right, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it.